Okay, well, hello. I'm Chris, and this is my video where I'm going to show you how to wire up attack pretty much to any vehicle. I'm going to be using some GM harnesses to kind of give you an example, but the rules are generally the same as long as you have a 4, 6, 8 cylinder and a 12 volt system. Um, after watching this, you'll pretty much have an idea how to very comfortably go out there and wire this up with no problems. Okay, so first of all, let's see what this comes with. I got this from eBay for 30 bucks. This is my uh, tack I'm going to use to break my engines in. And uh, pretty much all tacks are, are good nowadays. You're not going to get a piece of crap. Okay, it's brand new. I was expecting it to be like a return one or something, but... Okay, for 30 bucks on eBay, that's nice. That was shipping included. Box, we got these four wires with an extra long green wire. Let's understand these wires before we start hooking it up. All right, so this is an old point system. So whenever that cam opens that point, barely see it opening, it's firing at that cylinder when it opens. Okay? It's not firing now. When that cam breaks the points, breaks the points, it's firing. But it's doing some kind of pulsing. I don't know the voltage exactly. And even electronic ignition does the same thing in the ignition control mod. Okay, so if this thing is making a little pulse every time a cylinder is firing and that's the whole point of this all this thing is is it reads the pulses so you need it it needs to divide it by whatever amount of cylinders so it can accurately tell you the speed of the motor so that that's the reason for this they should all have this four six and eight so it's already set on eight cylinders so that means it's going to take the pulse and divide it by 8 and give you an idea where you are. So people that are saying that this might be off or something, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, so I just wanted to give you an idea about the green wire and what the two, what the 468 means. It's very simple. Okay, so the green wire is, we can call that the tack wire. Other three wires. Black is a ground. I'll show you where that goes. Red is on with the key. Do not wire this straight to hot. This white is optional. It's an illumination. You would set this to your dash lights. I'll show you where this goes, but this is optional. You know, if you're running this on a tractor or, you know, something you didn't drive at night, you would not have to connect the white wire. But we're going to go ahead and show you where they all go. This is a 70 Chevelle fuse box. Most GMs were smart enough to put extra little plugs to run accessories. Now I have seen some cars that don't have any accessories. I don't know what to tell you about that. You're going to have to figure out how to tap into wires or God forbid you run wires into these fuses like other videos do but maybe you have to do that I don't know I would never do that okay, in case you have no idea what a ground is all these 12 volt DC cars the body core support frame firewall any steel of the car is a ground but if you absolutely just don't understand what ground is. Go in your firewall. We're going to pretend that this is a firewall. We're going to pretend that this is the firewall. Drill a hole. Alright, we drill our hole right there. Just trying to show you how to make a ground if you have to. Sometimes you'll have to. All you're doing.
and um, and that's a real ground. That's a there's nothing rigged about that. That is a 100% factory would have done it the same way. Ground. So now, if you have an HEI, an HEI, look on your HEI, and you can see where it has battery and tag. Okay. On this outside one right here, right here, that's where this green wire is going to attach on your H G M HEI. Okay, pretty simple. Okay, now, say for example, you have a points ignition. You're going to look up on your coil. There's a plus and a minus. You would attach the wire of the tack to the negative right here, the black negative. Hold up. Old breaker point stop. Now, if you're running an aftermarket ignition box. You'll see a gray wire on this one. On the gray wire, that's where I attach my tack wire. On the summit box. On the MSD box, it has its own little lead right here for the green tack wire. Alright, so we got the ground hooked up. We figured out where the green wire goes, depending on what we have. Now we're going to hook up the red and the white. Now you can see on this fuse box from a 70 Chevelle, it's got batteries, accessories, ignition, and over here it's going to have the illumination, the lamps, you can barely see lamps right there. <coughs> now most GM fuse boxes will have places to wire extra wires. This is a, I don't know what this is off of an old truck or something. But it, it has them too. They're just not labeled as clearly. Even this one off of like an 80s El Camino or Monte Carlo or something. It has, you would have to use a spade connector, but it has its own little ones too. So you just kind of got to look around in there. See ignition, ignition. But that's what we're trying to look for, is those ones that are by themselves. And you'll have to turn the key on with a test light. You have to get a test light. So whenever you were, you were in your car, you would have to get your test light. This is just a 12 volt test light. Clamp it to a ground in there, or your new ground. Now I don't have this connected to power, I'm just trying to give you an idea. Now I don't have this connected to power, but you would come in here to find the ignition on with the key, you would put your test light in there, then you would turn the key to the on position, and this will light up. Okay? And for this tack, you're only using on with the key. So we're going to go ahead and hook this up. We figured this out on with the key. We can hook that one up, red wire from the tack. Now we have the white wire left to hook up. So the way you're going to find this one is you're going to put it on that connector. And you're gonna go turn your dash lights on in your car. And when this one lights up with only the dash lights, then you found the illumination light. Now also you can dim your dash lights however they dim, and this will dim the test light. Just so we're on the same page, we're 100% clear. Off until you turn your dash lights on. Dash lights come on, this is the illumination. So you really know what that means. Hook it right into illumination. I just really wanted to show you the right way to wire this into the fuse box like this. Thanks for watching.